Well, kia ora New Zealand, welcome into New Jersey. Yes, I made it thanks to Alibar and uh, world-class stallions there, including the new addition, Big Jim, who of course uh, was competitive in the Meadowlands pace. Ken, great to have you here. It's great to be here and I'm glad you made it safe. <laughs> Absolutely, it took a while. Now the pace this year, we're not far out, far out from the eliminations. What are your thoughts? Well, as we speak here, as we follow this report, the eliminations come out later this afternoon, so we're not quite sure whether we're going to have three eliminations or two. I'm thinking, I'm leaning towards towards three, but uh, it's a little more wide open than usual. Uh, Sweet Lou is uh, the, the main target here right now. Uh, he's the world champion, 149, two-year-old from last year. Uh, won his North America Cup elimination in a stunning 147 and four-fifths there, but he finished fourth after being close to a hot pace in that North America Cup final. So he's looking to rebound, and trainer Ron Burke made some uh, major changes, uh, changed his shoes from steel to aluminum. He let out his hobbles a little bit, and he trained him here at the Meadowlands on Saturday morning in 140. And the quotes are, as easy as a horse can go, really did it on his own. Burke was trying to shut him down. So that bodes well for uh, the pace eliminations for Sweet Lou. Sweet Lou, we've also got thinking out loud, he was impressive in the North America Cup. Absolutely. Uh, he is a fresh threat here uh, for trainer Bob McIntosh, who won his first North America Cup. Randy Waples drove him uh, to a stakes record. He equaled the same time as Sweet Lou, 147 in the final with a good rally. Uh, his sire Ponder also has bolt the door as a uh, pace contender as well. And this Colt uh, tuned up with a qualifier at Mohawk this past Friday in 152 and 2, so it's all systems go for thinking out loud. He'll love the long stretch here. This looks like a very, very even bunch of three-year-olds, Ken. Absolutely. Uh, uh, this past Saturday, for instance, we had a 17-to-1 upset in the Hemp final uh, at Pocono Downs nearby. A rock and roll dance, who was uh, a son of the 2005 pace champion Rock and Roll Hanover, rallied three wide in 26-4 and four and pulled a 17-to-1 upset with Yannick Jingra driving a 148-3, and three, uh, vaulted past the million-dollar mark with uh, in earnings for that uh, Colt there, a rock and roll dance uh, driver, uh, Yannick Jengro, was second in this event with uh, another son of Cam's car truck. Times are a changing, and that was back in 2004. So a rock and roll dance. He was uh, a sub 152 year old last year. He's coming to form. Jengro said up at uh, Mohawk he just wasn't himself, but now he's back to uh, top form. And eliminations, we don't know whether we'll have two or three, but it's important to win those, isn't it? Absolutely. If you win your uh, pace uh, elimination, you earn your post position, of course, and that's all important. And, uh, you know, it, uh, it, it's all about uh, tuning up and timing it just right for that uh, big final. And uh, so, so who's the big talk horse? Who do you think at this stage, Ken, is the one they have to beat? I think it's uh, going to be either Sweet Lou, Thinking Out Loud, or a rock and roll dance. A Hurricane King Cole, who stormed home to a world record of 148 and 1 in the Hemp elimination at Pocono Downs, got parked and finished sixth in the final. Uh, we got word that that horse was uh, sick and uh, he's being treated by antibiotics, so we don't know if he's going to be in the eliminations. Where are we needy, who set those record fractions of 25 and 1 and 52 and 4 in the North America Cup final? I got word this morning that that horse might not enter as well, so a couple falling off by the wayside there. Uh, a horse that uh, if you're looking for an upsetter or a long shot, I fought the law. He won two sire stakes divisions here and uh, he had some throat issues up in Canada. Back uh, in the hemp, he was a disappointing night, so he'll have to rebound, but he's a big, strong, strapping horse who loves the big mile track. Ken, thank you very much for your time. Anytime. We're always here. <laughs> That's uh, the report. The Meadowlands Pace Eliminations coming up this week. The report here from New Jersey with thanks to Alibar, the home of the new world champion, Big Jim.